with a little warm up. So, all you need is a, a mat, by the way, or if you're on carpet, that works as, as well. We're going to be doing some stuff from the floor. Let's get started with, started with just a boxer shuffle. We're going to do a nice long warm up, <laughs> mainly for myself. <laughs> because I'm in the garage and we have that cold front come through here in Colorado. So I'll say it's probably about 35 in my garage right now. All right, so we're hopping around, just kind of bouncing from heel to toe. And then let's take it, let's go ahead and stop. Take one leg up, we're gonna do knee pulls. So pull it in, when you alternate legs, when you go to pull it in, I want you to drive that floor away with your stance leg, squeeze that glute. So we're just pulling up, holding for a second, really squeezing that glute, bring it back down, alternating. Do one more on each side. Whew. All right, next, let's move to grass grabbers. Stick one foot out, toe is pulled up towards you. Keep your chest up, hands at your hips, sweep the floor. Alternate legs, same thing on the other side. Try to keep this knee as straight as you can. We're going for that dynamic. Hamstring stretch. We'll do about five on each side. You can just go until I tell you to stop. And try not to give up your back here. What I mean by that is try not to curl. Don't feel like you have to get to the floor. I'd much prefer you keep your chest up and not make it all the way to the floor and actually touch the floor. All right, one more on each side. Perfect. Next, let's go ankle pulls. I'll loosen up the hips a little bit. Doing a lot of single sided stuff this morning. Hopefully, work a little bit of balance before we get going. All right, let's go one more on each side. Perfect. All right, next, let's go arm circles. We're going forward, starting small. Elbows are straight. Let's make them a little bigger. And even bigger. Bigger than that, not quite as big as you can get just yet. And then let's take them as big as you can, overlapping. All right, stop that, shake it out. Do the same thing going backwards. Starting small. Making them a little bigger. A little bigger than that. Now let's make them as big as we can, overlapping. And then go ahead, bring them down, shake them out. Next, let's go ahead and warm up that core because we're gonna be hitting some ab work during this first set. So I want you to go ahead, get on your soft surface, lay on your back. I want you to Bring your knees up, so hips and knees are bent at 90 degrees. Then I want arms up towards the ceiling. Next, I want you to drive your low back into the floor. We're gonna do that by tightening our abs, so there should be no space under here at the low back. And then we're going to take opposite arm and leg. You really gotta think about this. Try to straighten them, just for a second. We're going to do five on each side. 
Remember, don't let go of that ab squeeze here. And make sure you're doing an opposite arm and leg. If that's a little difficult and you're shaking already, try to just bring down, keep the knee bent, try to just bring the heel down to the floor instead of straightening. All right, wherever you're at, do one more on each side. Perfect. And then stop. Go ahead and work your way back up. Those are called dead bugs, in case y'all have never done those before. Really good core exercise and a good warm up, too, for core. All right, so now that we've got the warm up out of the way, we'll finish with some jumping jacks in just a second just to get that heart rate up again. <clears throat> but I want to go ahead and go over what we're doing today. We're doing AM reps. So that, remember, that stands for as many reps as possible. So I want y'all really pushing yourself giving me as many rounds of this as you can. We've got, we've actually got four today, four AMRAPs. The uh, first three are seven minutes long. So they're separated by 90 seconds of rest. We've got three exercises in each AMRAP. So the first three are seven minutes. That's total of 21. And then <clears throat> we're doing a final four minute burnout where we've only got two exercises. So all together, we're looking at about a 30 minute workout, including rest. And then we'll of course do a cool down. So for the first seven minute AMRAP, and, and these are all strength, cardio and core. So within each AMRAP, we're gonna be doing one strength move, typically one cardio move and one core move. There are one or two where it's maybe just all core and strength. But anyways, that's kind of the format for our first AMRAP, our three exercises that we're doing are close grip push-ups or diamond push-ups, whichever you prefer. Diamond are gonna be harder, so if you're looking for more of a challenge, go for those. <clears throat> you can go from the knees if you need to. Just remember, no matter if we're from the knees or from the feet, you're squeezing your glutes. Keep your elbows tight to your body. And we got the diamond push-up. Otherwise, you can go close grip, so just inside a shoulder width, and again, we want to keep the elbows tight to the body anytime we're doing some of these close grip push-ups where we're trying to hit the triceps more than the chest. 10 of those. So we got 10 diamond push-ups. I tried to keep the counting uh, sequence pretty easy to follow because once we do this first set together, we're going to set off on our own. You're at your own pace. And we're going to go through this as many times as we can in the seven minutes. The diamond push-ups for 10 is the first one. Then we've got walking lunges for 20, 10 on each side. Use the space that you have. If you don't have any space to actually walk and do your lunges, that's fine. Just give me forward step lunges as you're doing those. 10 on each leg, 20 all together. Keep your chest up here. Make sure that you're taking a wide enough step so that when I sink down and I'm getting my knee close to the floor, my heel doesn't come up off the floor. I want my whole foot flat on the floor. And then the third and final exercise that we're doing for 30 is mountain climbers. That's each side. We're here, we're driving up. Slightly easier would be to tap the foot down. Otherwise, try to keep it up. 30 on each side. Yes, you gotta count. So we got 10 diamond push-ups. 20 walking lunges, 30 mountain climbers. We're going in three, two, one, go. Bring it all down, diamond push-ups, 10 reps here. Inhale on the way down, exhale as you push. Squeeze those glutes, keep the core tight. All right, and then you're hopping up after you finish your 10 close grip or diamond push-ups. We've got those 10 on each side, 20 all together walking lunges. If you wanted to make this harder and you've got weights laying around near you, by all means, you could grab those. If you've got dumbbells, or even a kettlebell, you could hold it like this. 
It's depending on how hard you want to make it. All right, I'll keep it up. I then remember your last exercise in this AMRAP set is 30 mountain climbers on each side. Keep your core tight. Continue to breathe. No hold your breath here. I don't want to see anybody getting as red as my shirt. And then once you've got those done, remember rest as long as you need, but try to keep it short. Grab some water if you need it. And then whenever you're ready, you're going back into it, pushing yourself as hard as you can with those 10 diamond push push-ups, 20 walking lunges, and 30 mountain climbers. We got four and a half minutes to go here. Remember everything we're focusing on. That's glute squeeze. For these push-ups, core is tight. Remember, if you can't make it through 10 in one set, come out of it. And when you're ready, go back in, pick up where you left off. Remember for the walking lunges, we're doing 10 on each leg, 20 all together. Make sure that toe is pointed directly forward when you step. Three minutes to go. Then remember that final task is 30 mountain climbers on each leg. Split them up if you need to, but make sure you get all 30 down on each side before you loop back around to the diamond push-ups. I know this is heavy on the shoulders, so don't be afraid to stop if you need to, shake them out, and get back into it. Nice work, y'all. Keep pushing. We can do this. Two minutes to go. We've already got five minutes down. Finish these last two minutes strong. Remember, modify as needed. You're going from the knees. I want those glutes squeezed throughout the entire time. Same if you're going from your feet. And then hop right into those walking lunges whenever you're ready.
60 seconds to go. All right, y'all, don't let up. Final 30 seconds. seconds to go. Wherever you're at, don't quit yet. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Woo. Well done, y'all. 90 seconds to rest. Grab some water if you need it. Shake everything out. I don't know about y'all, my triceps and my shoulders definitely felt that one. The legs did too. Who am I kidding? <laughs> All right, y'all, just over 60 seconds. Keep catching your breath. We got one set down. We're moving to AMRAP number two. Again, we'll run through these first We'll run through these three exercises together. So try to follow me. Once we get that first set done, I'm setting you off on your own and you're getting as many sets as you can with the remaining time. <laughs> this time, our rep count is five, 10, 15 to make it easier for you to remember. So last time we did 10, 20, 30, this time it's five, 10, 15. First move is going to be a double out burpee. You know you can't do it in my class without doing a burpee, so we're coming down, we're kicking out, we're stepping out, and then we're going to hop in and then back out. So that's our double out part. We go out twice. Then you're coming back up and you're jumping overhead. All right, our seven minutes just started, so let's do these five together. Double out burpee. It's up to you if you want to do the push up or not. Since we just did push ups, I'm not going to do them. But if you want to put yourself through that, go for it. Hands come down to the floor. Let's kick out or step out once. Core stays tight. Hop it back in. Hop it back out. Hop it back up. Get to your feet. Hop up. That's one. Let's go through this. We're doing five. Remember, if you need to step out, to do your double out, by all means, you can do that. Otherwise, hop in and out on both feet. All right, here's four for me, this is five. Once you've got five done, we're moving to the next thing, which is on our back. We're doing four rows here, so sit up position, elbows are out about 60 degrees from the body, so not this far, about right here. We're driving the floor away from us. If you need to, to get your, get your back up off the floor, use your abdominals to do a little bit of a crunch. We're doing 10 here. Three, four, five, six. But don't rely on your abs. I want you to really rely on those back muscles to drive those elbows away from you. Got eight. Nine and ten. Stay down here once you finish your ten floor rows. And then we've got 15 single leg V ups. So, single leg, I'm going left hand is going to come up and meet left foot. And then, right hand is going to come up and meet right foot. We're going back and forth. If you need to, shorten the lever arm, bend the knee come up and just touch the forearm on the knee. All right, we're doing 15 of these on each side, 30 all together. Start whenever you're ready. These are easy, so if at any point you need to stop and rest for a second, and then hop back in, go for it. 
30 of these is a lot, but I have faith in you to get it done. Rest as needed. Ooh, those burn. Stay with it, y'all. Remember, if you need to, go to that modified version, which is just with the knee coming up, as opposed to trying to touch the toe. Same muscle still working. When you're done with those 15 single sided V ups on each side, you're rolling back through, starting with that double out burpee for five. Then you got the four rows for 10. Single leg V ups for 15. All right, we're halfway through, just under three and a half minutes to go. Remember, you don't have to do the push up with the burpees, you want to just make it a half burpee. You can definitely do that. That's what I'm doing. Making you go out twice is hard enough. Two and a half minutes to go. Remember, try not to use your abs unless you absolutely need to, to separate your back from the floor, mainly because we're going to turn around and use them in the next move. Take your time on these floor rows. Really focus on your back squeezing as hard as you can. And I didn't show you all that. If those are really hard for you, you can definitely get up against the wall. And you're not going to have as much body weight behind you. So if you wanted to do your floor rows on the wall, and you have one near you, by all means, use that. We got 90 seconds to go here. Finish strong. Hopefully, you're going to be able to get at least two sets here done. I know those V-ups are a lot. Split them up however you need to. Have a number in mind. Try to make it there. And then pick up where you left off. Twenty seconds to go. Don't quit yet. I know you're thinking about stopping. Don't do it. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Woo! Those abs are tired. Nice work, y'all. All right, stretch it out if you need to. You're feeling really tight from those V-ups. Do a little back bend. That'll help stretch out. You can also hop on the floor, do a quick little cobra. Got 60 seconds to go of resting. 
So keep catching your breath, grab some water if you haven't already. All right, y'all, you're doing great. We got one more seven minute AMRAP, and then we're gonna move to our final four minute finisher. So we've got three more exercises here. We're changing the reps up again. They're the same as they were last time, but they're flipped. So we've got the first exercise is 15, 10, second is 10, third exercise is five. And as you might expect, it goes from easier to harder as the reps go up. So for the first one, we're doing scissor squats. We're going to do them together. So three, two, one, our seven minutes starts now. We're going to scissor hop. So it doesn't matter which side you start with, but we're going both ways. Then you're going to bring your legs together and squat. That's one. We're doing 15. Let's go now. Hop, hop, feet together, squat. Alternate which leg comes up first. So if my left comes up this time to start, my right's gonna come up the next time. 15 of these, keep counting. Stay light on your feet for that scissor kick or scissor hop. I like to bring my hands up like this to keep my back flat as I squat down. All right, I think that was 15. Next, we're going on our back as if we didn't get enough ab work. We're doing some more. Five signals this time. Knee, opposite knee comes to the elbow, and we're going back and forth. 10 on each side. Go whenever you're ready. Try to get those shoulder blades up off the floor. Once you've got 20, flip it around. That's 10 on each side. We're going to get in a down dog position. Drive the floor away from you, feet your hip width apart. We're going pipe push-ups five. Try to get your head as close to the uh, floor as you can. If you need to, you can bend the knees a little bit. That's going to take less weight. But otherwise, we've only got five of them, so I want you to try to get as deep as you can. And go slow. All right, you got your three tasks now, so to go over them one more time, we've got 15 scissor squats. We've got 10 bicycles on each side, laying on our back, and we've got five pipe push ups. So, whenever you're ready, go at your own pace. We've got four and a half minutes to go. And after those scissors, it's bicycle time. Once you've got 20 on each side, remember you're moving to those pipe push ups. Try to keep your knees straight, getting this. Up, upside down V shape. Nice work, y'all. 
Keep fighting. Three minutes to go here. Rest when you need it. Good job, y'all. Stay with it. All right, remember we got those 15 scissor squats, 10 bicycles on each side, five pipe push-ups. Two minutes to go here. Home stretch, y'all. Make sure when you're doing these pipe push-ups, don't let those elbows flare out really wide. Try to have them kind of come down at an angle like this, as opposed to this. Hopefully y'all can see the difference there. I always like y'all to try to focus on where the elbows are going on any type of push-up because the default kind of mistake to make is letting the elbows come out wide, super wide. That puts a lot of pressure on the shoulder. And it kind of takes away from the actual muscle doing the work. All right, y'all, 30 seconds to go. If you're following with me, let's see how many more of these scissor squats we can get. Or wherever you're at. See if you can get as many of those as you can in the next 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Whew, nicely done, y'all. All right, stay with me. Grab some water if you need it. Get yourselves ready. We got one more four minute AMRAP burnout. This is the last thing we got today before we do a cool down. Y'all made it through. The first three, which were the toughest, so give it everything you got here on this last one. We're emptying the gas tank. We've got a cardio move and a core move. Only two. We're doing, the first thing that we're doing is a lateral jump to squat jump or calf raise. So <clears throat> high impact version is going to be trying to hop, feet come down, squat jump, hop to the other side. Lower impact version is going to be a big step, cover as much as you can, much room as you can. Squat the calf raise, big step the other way. We're doing five on each side, ten all together. So let's start with that in three, two, one, go. And then I'll tell you what we're doing for the second move when we get to it. Keep count. I'm at four, two on each side. Here's five. We're doing ten all together. Once you've got ten, 
You're going to come down. We're going side plank, reach through. So you're going to come up either from a knee plank or from a tall foot plank. We're rotating around, turning the whole body. We're doing 10 on one side, 10 on the other. If you're going from your knees, make sure you're squeezing your glutes no matter what. It'll look like this from the feet. You can go staggered or feet stacked. Stack this harder. Keep those abs tight. Don't let the hips drop. And that's it for these two moves. We've got two and a half minutes to go. Get as many rounds of these as you can. We've got the lateral jump, squat jump. Five on each side, 10 all together. And then we've got this side plank, reach under or reach through, 10 on each side. Good job, about two minutes to go here. Stay with it. Give me the best two minute effort of the workout here. If you're doing these squat jumps, I want that landing to be as soft and quiet as possible. That means cushion with your knees ankles and hips. Minute 15 to go. When you're done with those lateral jumps to squat jumps, hop back into that side plank reach under. I know y'all are spent. Stay with me. We only got 60 seconds to go here. All right, y'all, this is it. 30 seconds to go. Push yourself as hard as you can. Fifteen seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Good job. Way to push all the way to the end. Proud of y'all. Catch your breath. Grab some water. We'll spend about four minutes doing a cool down. And then I'll let y'all get to the rest of your day. Catch your breath real quick though. Slow that breathing down. Let's do some really good diaphragmatic breathing. That's in through the nose, four seconds. Out through the mouth, at least four seconds. Do your best to try to slow that exhale down. Let's do a couple more of those big breaths, four in. Anywhere from four to eight out. Two more. And wherever you're at now, let's do one more of those big Diaphragmatic breaths.
Perfect. From here, let's go forward fold, feet are hip width apart. Keep the knees straight. Let's interlock the arms, crossed arms. Drop the head, let it hang. I want you to sway from side to side. Knees are still straight. And you're still taking big, nice, deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Perfect. Bring it on up. Let's go ahead and move it down to the floor. Do a pancake stretch next. Feet are wide. Now reach towards the middle. All right, cross one leg over. Hug it for that glute stretch. Try to make your spine as tall as you can. So from your butt all the way through the crown of your head, it's gonna help to enhance that stretch. All right, bring it out. Same thing on the other side. And three, two, one. Go ahead and release it. Work your way back up to standing. And we'll do a chest stretch to finish. So clasp those hands behind your back. Just push down with it. Remember, palms together is going to help you feel it more. If you're already getting a good stretch without that, by all means, keep it the way you got it. You want to enhance it even more, palms together, raise them up. And three, two, one. Oh, I forgot one. We got one more. Go ahead and bring it back down. We did a lot of ab work today, as I'm sure y'all felt. So let's bring it. Push up. Let's come down all the way to the floor. Keep the legs down. Press back up through those hands for that cobra. Take a couple nice big deep breaths here. And then on your next exhale, I want you to drive the floor away from you, come down into child's pose, butt to heels, head comes down to rest on the floor. I want you to take five deep breaths here. All right, once you've got those five, come on, by, on out of it. And that is it for today's class. Thank you all so much for coming. Hope you all enjoyed that.